What is up? Welcome to Every Single Guitars, where the goal of this channel is to review every single guitar ever made. Today I have a guitar that I haven't really reviewed much on this channel. On this channel, I've reviewed several different kinds of guitars, several different brands of guitars, several different styles of guitars. But most of the guitars I've been reviewing have been either a Fender Strat, Gibson Les Paul, or basically some variation of a Strat or a Les Paul or any traditional quote unquote type of electric guitar. So I decided to switch it up and review the more unique type of guitars that I don't really buy much, nor do I play much. So today I have a 2017 Fender American Professional Series Jazz Master. Whoa, that is not in tune. So what I mean by I don't review these types of guitars is I haven't really reviewed much of the offset style guitars. And for those of you guys who don't really know what offset means, it basically means a body shape that's kind of off. Whereas a Fender Strat, you know, a Gibson Les Paul, a Telecaster, those have quote unquote traditional, you know, standard bodies. If you've never seen a Jazzmaster or a Jaguar or a Mustang or a Fender Bronco, those guitars are offset guitars because the body shape is a little bit different looking. It looks kind of funky. So this is a 2017 Fender Jazzmaster American Professional. The body finish is sonic gray. And even though a Jazzmaster is typically known for their rosewood style fretboard, for the American Pro Series, Fender actually released some Jazzmasters with a maple neck. For me personally, my first electric guitar was a Squire, a Squire Strat, and that had a rosewood fretboard. And all the guitarists that I look up to, for the most part, play a rosewood style neck. I know some people, they swear by maple fretboards and others, they swear by rosewood with fretboards but for me I feel like both are pretty damn good and both are pretty damn different so it's not really comparable to me it's not like one is better than the other but for this particular guitar this has a maple fretboard the back of the neck is actually a satin feel type of neck so for example most necks um, that I've played personally with a maple fretboard they have a lacquer on both the front side of the fretboard like this and also the back also has a some kind of lacquer gloss type feel but this actually is a satin feel which is very similar to my Eric Clapton signature edition Stratocaster that I've owned that also had a maple fretboard and also a satin feel on the neck so for this particular American Pro Jazzmaster the biggest difference I'd say compared to a traditional Jazzmaster is they actually took off the rhythm controls which is is usually located on the top of the guitar. I don't have a, you know, a traditional standard um, jazz master next to me, but if you look at a, you know, a vintage jazz master, same with a Jaguar. They actually have two different types of controls. One on the bottom with the knobs like this, and then there's like a little switch type thing on the top. And I believe that's called the rhythm controls or the rhythm knobs. But for the American Pro Series, Fender actually completely removed the rhythm knobs, the rhythm controls, and they switched the toggle switch location, which is usually on the bottom, I believe right here. And they put it on the top, similar to like a Les Paul or a Tele Deluxe style guitar. And for me personally, I think this is cool. I think it's great. It makes the guitar look a lot cleaner and to be honest who really uses the rhythm controls on a jazz master or a jaguar i've owned a couple jazz masters i've owned a couple jaguars but to be honest i've never used the top controls for any of those guitars i have you know maybe played around with it but when i'm actually playing a song or you know practicing i've always used the standard knobs rather than the rhythm part so for me the fact that they removed the top part it wasn't really a big issue to me at all and since they removed the top rhythm part everything is controlled by just these two knobs the one master volume knob and the one master tone knob very similar to a telecaster one knob one knob 
three selector, just in different locations. Another slight difference compared to a traditional Jazz Master is they actually moved up the bridge, I believe a little bit higher than normal. Like I said, I don't have a Jazz Master next to me, a standard quote unquote Jazz Master, but I believe a standard Jazz Master's bridge is a little bit closer to the bottom. And I did some research on why they did this, why they moved it up. And apparently it's for better intonation and also better control of the whammy bar function. But for me, I never use the whammy bar. You know, in all the songs I play and the type of music I play, even though David Gilmour is one of my guitar heroes and he always uses the whammy. For me personally, I never really got into it. You know, whether the bridge is on the bottom or a little bit higher, to me, it really doesn't make any difference. But for those whammy bar users and the ones, and for those who are very specific on how the guitar is intonated and maybe the action too, I believe this mastery bridge location makes some slight difference but for me it's not a big deal this neck profile is very very comfortable this is what fender calls a modern deep c cut profile it's basically any type of fender neck you would play at guitar center so any you know post 2014 fender you know a strat or a telly any american professional any american standard series fender neck is all relatively the same give or take i think that the modern c neck is one of the most comfortable necks um for me personally i have pretty big hands and this neck is not super fat but it's not super thin either i'd say it's a little bit right in the center a little bit slimmer than a p PRS Silver Sky neck if you have played one of those. Very comfortable neck, easy to strum, easy to finger pick, easy to solo, easy to play on the bottom and the top, just a very well-rounded neck. Also another modern feature of this is the bigger sized frets, the medium jumbos I believe. To be honest, I hated when people would you know, fuss about the fret height. Cause I was like, dude, just play it, you know, stop being a little bitch. But I actually bought a older Fender Strat from the early seventies. And those had vintage style frets and I've never played a vintage style fret. Those frets were super low. And to be honest, I thought that it was fret wear, but after doing more research and taking it to a luthier, he said that these frets are actually original. And these are the type of frets that older guitars have. To be honest, I could play the guitar, but you know, when it came to bending and stuff like that, it was actually pretty hard. I have, I'm not even going to lie. It was pretty hard. So I actually had to get that guitar completely refretted, which was 300 bucks. But for these modern style frets, big frets, very easy to bend, very easy to grip chords. It's just really comfortable. These pickups, I'm not really sure what Fender did. And I don't think that these are the vintage style pickups uh, from what I've read on the specs. But regardless, guitar sounds good. Sounds very good for all selectors. The neck pickup sounds good. Mixing these two pickups sound good. And the bridge also sounds good as well. But for certain configurations on how you set this guitar, it almost sounds like a Strat too um, on the bridge selector, I'd say. So I thought that was a very cool plus. You can get that classic jazz master tone, or that Chris Stapleton style tone. But depending on how you modify the tone and the volume knob and all also the settings on your amp. You can also get a Strat-like sound as well. Best of both worlds. So let me show you how this guitar sounds so you can get a better idea of the quality of the tone of this Jazz Master.
So overall, it's a pretty good sounding guitar. I'd say that if I had to give a rating for this guitar, build quality, this is a easily 8.5 out of 10. From personal experience, all the newer Fenders, the modern day Fenders, the quality is excellent. I'd say that compared to Gibson, where the quality control is questionable, most of the new Fenders for the most part and the ones that I've played, the construction quality is very high. And that is the same case for this. Nothing about this guitar feels cheap. Nothing about this guitar feels of subpar quality. And that's something I really respect about Fender. They always keep their quality control very high for the most part. Pickups sound very good. Tone quality rating, I'd probably give this an eight out of 10. The only reason why I wouldn't give it a perfect 10 out of 10 is because I haven't played a 10 out of 10. I don't know what a perfect quote unquote guitar sounds like. I know some people are kind of picky on, you know, it, does this sound like a traditional jazz master? I wouldn't say so, but it sounds good. For me, whatever they do to the pickups, as long as the guitar sounds good, I'm fine with it. And for this guitar, this guitar sounds good. Overall, very good quality guitar, very high quality guitar, both construction wise and the pickups. 2017 Fender Jazz Master American Professional Series with a very cool sonic gray finish with a blend of the maple fretboard and neck. I just love this gray color. I love gray. It's a nice color on a guitar. It's a unique color on a guitar, but this sonic gray makes it a little bit more unique than any traditional gray. Very nice jazz master.